these are design guidelines for circular water tank resting on the ground so first step is to write the design constants so these can be written from or is 456 and I have given you a table from is 3370 that's enough from is 3370 step 2 is dimensions of water tank so first one volume so volume is if we divide the capacity of water tank with 1000 so we will get the volume of the water tank in meter cube so depth of the water tank is height on the ground minus free board free board is we left some space free or uh, not filling with the water so that is called as free board so we can assume it according to our convenience area of the water tank a is equal to volume by depth so diameter of the water tank d so actually area is pi d square by 4 if we equal that equal both we will get the value of t take the nearest comfortable value next one is to design the top dome design the top dome so assume the thickness of dome is td is equal to 100 to 300 mm geometry of the roof, roof dome this is nothing but so we are defining central rise all these things theoretically so how can we do that so central rise can be assumed in between d by 8 to d by 5 d is the diameter of the water tank so that radius of curvature rd can be found by using the pythagoras theorem rd square is equal to so we know you know pythagoras theorem that is hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square so if you substitute that you will get this next one is to find the semi central angle theta so tan theta is actually the opposite side by adjacent side so opposite side here is d by 2 so adjacent side is rd minus r you will get this so theta value you got this so next load calculation consider one meter length i'm not con considering the whole dome so but i'm considering one meter length dead load self weight of the dome so we call it a dead load or self weight so that is gamma c into td into 1 td is nothing but thickness of the dome we have assumed it as 100 to 300 mm so that is td and gamma c is a what unit weight of the concrete so into 1 meter where td is the thickness of the dome i have given you live load we can assume it as 1 or 2 kilo newton per meter square kilo newton per meter square total load is dead load plus live load stress is the dome so first was stress is due to meridional thrust meridional thrust is so in order to find it out the formula is this meridional thrust is nothing but the stress from the center to sides meridional thrust by cross-sectional area gives you the meridional stress stress is actually the load by area right so this is the load by cross-sectional area if you substitute them you will get this so I have taken this as thousand because I have assumed it for one meter circumferential force so formula for this is this wr into cos square theta plus cos theta minus 1 by 1 plus cos theta circumferential stress is c by cross sectional area c is a circumferential force we just find it out next one is reinforcement so as i have given you some guidelines ast minimum can be taken as 0.3 percent of cross sectional area which cross sectional area gross cross sectional area so up to 100 mm thick so up to 450 mm thick so it can be reduced up to 0.2 percent for the sections above 225 mm we have to provide two layers of reinforcement not only in tension zone we have to provide in compression zone too minimum cover for reinforcement should not be less than 25 mm of uh, or diameter of the bar whichever is greater spacing so this is a formula for spacing provide the reinforcement to the dome both circumferentially and radially so in this way and in this way we have to provide like that design of the ring beam horizontal component of the thrust P is equal to t cos theta hoop tension ft is equal to pd by 2 so t i have talked about meridional thrust right so that can be divided into two components vertical component and horizontal component so theta is here semi-central angle so if you substitute you will get the hoop tension sorry horizontal component of thrust so hoop tension can be found it out to find out by using this dimensions of the ring beam so c gamma sigma ct is equal to fht by equivalent concrete area so that is nothing but area uh, formula is this so all are known things all are known things here b 
D or unknown. So here M is a modular ratio. Modular modular ratio. This is nothing but the ratio of Young, Young's moduli of the composite materials using it, using here. What are the composite materials here? Concrete and steel. So if we use this formula, you will get it. Please refer IS four five six. I have given you some support documents. Please look at them. So here P can be assumed suitably from two hundred to four fifty mm. D is equal to you will get the sum value. Next is area of steel. So this is the formula. F is H T is a hoop tension. Sigma S T is a permissible stress in steel. F T is F H T is a hoop tension. So provide stirrups of suitable diameter and space. Step five is to design the cylindrical wall. Hoop tension is here. PD by two again, but only P value here changes. There P is equal to T cos theta, but here P is gamma W into H. So if we find this value, we'll get the hoop tension again. Design of the steel A S T is the hoop tension by sigma S T. After that, thickness of the wall again hoop tension by area of equivalent concrete. So that is the formula. M you know again this is the modular ratio. Distribution steel this. We have to take to 0.2 percent of cross-sectional area, or use or use interpolation. So better to take 0.2 percent of the cross-sectional area for the time being. Design of floor slab. So the percentage of reinforcement in floor slab resting directly on the ground must not be less than 0.15 percent of the concrete section. So this is the one of the guideline. So we can assume the nominal thickness 100 or 100 to 300 mm. Provide lean concrete, so M10 concrete is sufficient. So 0.3 percent of the cross-sectional area (TB) is nothing but thickness of the base. That's all. So you can find out the number of bars required and the spacing according to the area of steel you got. You know that very well. That's it. That is the reason. So you have to mention here the diameter of the bar and number of bars you are providing. Please let me know if you have any doubt.